All right, everybody. So this is the injections. Now everybody's prescription is a little bit different. This is the sodium and chloride. My wife and I, we are going to do one cc and a half. Now it's got a pretty long needle in there and you can inject it into this stuff. Um, however, it's easier if you use one of these little safety caps. It's got a, you know just a little bit of a puncture needle there and you screw that on there which I'll be showing you in a few seconds and it's easier for you to, to go on the caps without any spillage. Um, so everybody's dosage is a little bit different. My wife's doctor said that we need to do five of these Brevels. Uh, sorry, um, yeah, Brevels. One Menopure. And then uh, this, is the, this is the solution. But you're gonna do one and a half cc's of, of this liquid fill it up into there and then with this you're gonna inject the liquid into each one of these containers you can see that that sweet sweet powder substance in there you're gonna dump it in there swirl it around don't shake it just swirl um, do that five times then go on to the money shot which is the Menopure again swirl it around and then you're ready to go so I'm going to go ahead and take you through the steps and then I will uh, stab my wife's belly. Alright, so I've just got done using this alcohol swab and I swabbed all the, the tops of the bottles so that way there's no possible contamination. We're going to take this little cap, screw it on to the needle you got the little thing there and it's gonna go into each one of these this is this is a sodium chloride we're just gonna go ahead and inject it tip it upside down pull out one and a half cc's there you go one and a half cc's like a pro this is the bravo we're just gonna inject it just like that swirl Come back up. Get all of that good stuff in there. There you go. So now I'm going to do that <laughs> four more times. And then I'm going to do it with the Minipure. Same thing inject swirl do all that and then I'm gonna let this sit for 15 minutes uh, the reason why is so it can fully dilute so it won't sting my wife when I go to inject her all right so now comes the, the final part all the bottles have been emptied we're just gonna unscrew this screw on this itty bitty little needle, I don't know if you can see it, but it's literally like just that little thing. Um, we're gonna prime it a little bit. All right, so you can see that little sexy drop right there. Uh, the needle's been primed. I'm gonna let this sit for 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put into her, uh, into <laughs> my wife's belly. This part's the easiest. My wife is just going to go basically a little triangle from where the belly button is yep there you go perfect again um, the whole swabbing 
it's just so that way um, there's no contamination for when the, when the needle goes in, which is the whole reason why we contaminate, uh, why we uh, swabbed all these caps. You just don't want any contamination in there. All right, it's been 15 minutes. Uh, babe, go ahead and inject yourself. Pinch. There you go. Perfect. There you go. Go slowly. The slower you go, um, the less burn you, you have. I mean, it's still going to burn a little bit, but it's not as much. Everybody has their own different pain tolerances. And then once you're finally down at the very end, you're going to leave it in for five seconds. So once you've squeezed everything inside you're just gonna hold the needle inside for five four three two one and then you're gonna pull it out um, but she's still pushing in so five four three two one all right and again unscrew that little cap and we'll go ahead. Little blood in there. Oh, there it is. Yeah. And we just put that in there. Same thing with all these. Dump them in. And that's it. Uh, all right. Well, um, we've got eight to ten days of doing this. And the next videotape will be of us going in for uh, a follow up check.